Hey guys, welcome back to Pumpkin Parables. Remember, a parable is a story that teaches a lesson and Jesus told a bunch of them while he was on earth. This week, we're talking about something that grows. If you went to the pumpkin patch, you would find, well, pumpkins, of course. But before the pumpkins got big and orange like this guy here, they started out as, well, seeds like these. Someone had to plant the seeds in the ground and then with water and sunlight, they grew and they grew. One of Jesus' parables was similar to that. You can find it in Matthew chapter 13, verses 31 through 34. It says, Then Jesus told another story. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed. A man plants a seed in his field. That seed is the smallest of all seeds. But when it grows, it's one of the largest garden plants. It becomes a tree, big enough for the wild birds to come and make nests in its branches. Then Jesus told another story. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman mixes into a big bowl of flour. The yeast makes all the dough rise. Jesus used stories to tell all these things to the people. He always used stories to teach the people. So the first seed that Jesus talked about was a mustard seed, one of the teeniest, tiniest little seeds. I have some here. I don't know if you guys can see them on the camera. I'm gonna try to hold them up. They're super duper tiny. Can you guys even see that in my fingers? I'll try to put a picture on here if I can. You guys see those tiny little seeds falling? They're super small. When you plant them, they grow into a huge tree. Isn't that amazing? It's like our faith in God. When we first know him, our faith is small like that seed when it's planted. But then it sprouts like the seed as it grows roots and a stem. That's us learning more and growing closer to God. The tree is growing a trunk and branches. That's us learning more about God and becoming closer to him. Just like that tiny seed can grow into a tree big enough for wild birds to come and nest into the branches, our faith can grow mighty enough for us to do huge things. The second story that Jesus talked about was about yeast and dough. If you know me, you know I love to bake. So you know that yeast is something that I keep on hand. I have some here. So it's super small too. You can't really see the individual grains. right there. So yeast, when you make dough, you usually add sugar to it, and it's a super small ingredient, but it does big things. It's what makes the dough rise and get bigger. Jesus said that a little bit is able to do big things. So you put a little bit in your dough, and it's what makes the dough get bigger. It's what makes delicious bread, delicious cinnamon rolls. It made this bread. It's like our faith too. Having a little bit of faith can grow into something big. You don't have to be an ordained minister or someone with a shirt that says Christian to be a believer. You just have to have a little bit of faith that God's got this. And that little bit of faith is going to be enough to stick with you and grow in your heart. Because you know what? God does have this. And he'll show you that time and time again. And as you see that, just like the yeast grows and causes your dough to double in the recipe, your faith is going to grow too. And soon you're going to be sharing it with other people, just like the yummy treats that I bake. I love to share them. So when you go and you pick out your big old pumpkin, and then you carve it to make your jack-o'-lantern, and you're cleaning it out and you get your seeds, remember this lesson about the tiny little mustard seed and the yeast. Remember that it only takes a tiny little bit of faith to start out, and then God's going to grow it into something huge. God loves you. You're capable of doing amazing things for him. He has great plans for you, and I can't wait to see them. I'll see you guys next time for our third pumpkin parable. Bye, guys.